everyone, my name is Eve, if you're new here, and today I have a very exciting video. Well, it's exciting for me, and that is reading Christmas books, or just like wintry books. And I have four books on my TBR for this. Um, here they are. But I'm probably only get to, gonna get to like uh, two or three. But the first one I'm 100% gonna get to is The Christmas Guest by Peter Swanson. I am going to start this today. This is about, it says, from New York Times bestselling author Peter Swanson comes this spectacularly spine-chilling story of an American student spending the holidays in a British manor house where she discovers dangerous secrets and a grim history hidden behind a seemingly charming Christmas celebration. This is just like a little tiny novella, so I'm probably gonna finish this today. The next one I'm 100% getting to is Love Light Farms. This is by B.K. Borison. This is about a girl who, I think she owns a Christmas tree farm and she has to, oh, in an effort to save the Christmas tree farm she loves, um, she enters a contest with a $100,000 cash prize, but when she entered the contest she said she owned this Christmas tree farm with her boyfriend, whom she doesn't have, and then enters her best friend who fake dates her, so it's like friends to love her fake dating. It sounds really good and I'm really excited for that. And then the next two that I could possibly get to is Breathless by Emmy McCulloch. Um, this is just a, like a winter time book and it is a thriller. It is about this journalist who climbs to a really tall mountain peak and one by one the people she's interviewing are like being picked off and that just sounds really good so that's an option. And then the last one we have is The Kingdom of Sweets. This is by Erica Johansson. This is just a retelling of um, The Nutcracker. So this is an option as well. And I'm just going to get started reading The Christmas Guest. It's a couple hours later and I just finished The Christmas Guest by Peter Swanson. And it was not how I expected it to be at all. I thought this was gonna be like a like cozy murder mystery, but it was not. It was like eerie and dark and so good. I gave this 4.5 stars, I think is what I'm gonna end with. It was literally so good. I picked it up and I did not put it down until I finished it. It was so good. I feel like I haven't read something, like the last thing that made me feel like this was The Secret History. And I don't even know how to explain that feeling and these books are really nothing like each other. But for some reason, the same feeling I had while reading The Secret History is the same feeling I had while reading this. And it was so good. So yes, I 100% recommend. I'm so glad I started off with this. It was just so good. And now I'm gonna go watch Godzilla and probably won't pick up another book today, but tomorrow I'm gonna pick up Love Light Forms. Hey guys, it's Monday morning. And yesterday I was able to get up to 106 pages in Love Light Farms. And here are my thoughts so far. I am pretty bored with the story and how it's going so far. It's like this girl owns a Christmas tree farm and it's really not doing well. And so she entered this like competition uh, where this big social media influencer like goes to these small businesses and like supports them and everything. And if you win the competition, you get $100,000. And so she, on the application uh, for the competition, she said that she owns the Christmas tree farm with her boyfriend and she doesn't even have a boyfriend. So she has to fake date someone. And that happens to be her best friend named Luca. And it's very clear that they both have feelings for each other and they just never have said anything. It's like one of those things. And so they're just like fake dating. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it's really going slow and I'd like to pick up. I think it's sort of picked up. They just like went and had Thanksgiving with her family and it was like really funny. Um, but I'm, I don't know. It's only 300 pages, so I'm like almost halfway through, which is nice, but I do have to work today. So when I get home, 
I plan on just binging a bunch of this, taking a bath, hopefully getting to page. I'm gold for page 200 today, so that's like 150 pages. Um, and then I would like to finish this tomorrow and start another one of my Christmas books. I just recently started, and by recently I mean literally yesterday, started having protein shakes for breakfast because my stomach doesn't like real foods in the morning. And I don't know if you guys have had a Malto meal before, but literally that is exactly what this tastes like. And it has like the same texture too. It's so thick. I don't know how people do this every day. How are you guys just drinking protein shakes? You guys don't understand how hard I am trying to not DNF this book. I don't know why I don't want to DNF it because usually I don't have an issue with it, but I'm just not in the mood to DNF a book and I'm already 130 pages in out of 300, so I'm just pushing through. Basically at this point I am uh, skimming, just reading the dialogue and where we're at so far is Luca's mom just found out that they were fake dating, but he didn't tell her they're fake dating. He just let her think that they're secretly, or that they're actually dating. That's where I'm at in the book right now. I'm gonna try to get to page 150 today. I originally gold it for 200, but that's not happening. So uh, I am trying to push through this. Pray for me. Okay, psych, I am DNFing. I don't want to read this anymore and I don't want to make myself read it. So officially closing this book. We are not going to be finishing Love Light Farms. I'm sad because I really thought I was gonna like this book and maybe I'm just not the Christmas rom-com kind of girl, I don't know. It's just not interesting to me at all. I am so incredibly bored and I don't wanna get into a slump, don't wanna slump myself out. So we're just gonna move on to the next one. I think we're gonna read Breathless next. So I'll probably start that tomorrow. I figured it's time for a little update on Breathless. And I'm at page 80 so far. And basically what was ha or what has happened so far is the main character's name is Cecily Wong and she is a journalist. She is tr going on this expedition with this guy named Charles McVeigh and he is just trying to like summit all the tallest mountains in the Andes, I think. Something like that, I don't know. Anyways, so he invited her along and said, if you are able to summit this mountain, then you will be able to get an interview from me and write a story. I'm having a really hard time describing stuff. Anyways, so, so far already one guy has died and I'm only, I'm not even a third of the way through and it's very good so far. I'm really, really enjoying it and yeah. I'm probably gonna read some more tonight and then update you tomorrow. All right guys, we have officially come to the end of this video. I finished Breathless last night and I hate to say it, but I guessed the ending from the very beginning and it, it was just really unsatisfying. Um, but I still really, really enjoyed the book. I enjoyed it the whole way through. It just kept you on the edge of your seat. It was just like, I don't know, kind of, I don't know how to explain it. It was just really good. It was, it was a great thriller. And, um, it's fun because basically there's a thing called altitude sickness. So when you go too high, you can start like feeling sick and then eventually you start like hallucinating. You don't know what's like real or not. So that plays into this book really well. And you just don't know what's real, what's not real for a while. And it was just really, really good. I liked it. I'm giving it, I think like, hmm. I'm gonna do like 3.75, because it's not quite a four star, 
because for me four stars is like great um, but it was really good I really liked it and I feel like this was a successful vlog for the most part I feel like I've been filming for an eternity because I have um, I've actually been filming this over like two weeks because I went on like a little mini vacay and I decided not to read this book because I was in the mountains and I didn't want to read a thriller about the mountains so yeah but I read uh, The Christmas Guest, which I gave four star. Oh gosh, I can't remember. I'm gonna give it 4.25 stars. And then we read Love Light Farms, which I DNF'd at about halfway because I was just really bored. And then we got Breathless, which I am giving 3.75. So yeah, I had a fun time reading these Christmas slash like winter books this actually takes place in like september but it's in the it's in the mountains in the cold winter snow uh not winter but you know what i mean anyways but yeah i had a lot of fun doing this um thank you so much for watching i will see you later bye